What is going on Football Manager fans, my name is Jack and welcome to the first episode of the Pentagon Challenge here on my channel. This is a brand new series, brand new channel, brand new everything, something new for me. I've never done anything like this before so I hope you guys enjoy it. But basically the Pentagon Challenge for anyone who doesn't know is a challenge taken by people on Football Manager where you start off with a new manager, uh, you have your past gaming playing experience as Sunday League footballer, you start unemployed and the challenge is to win the five Champions Leagues of the world being in Europe, Africa, Asia, North America and South America to prove that yourself as a Football Manager god. But anyway guys, I don't want to ramble for too long, uh, what you can see on screen is just the fact that I've set it up and done it all properly and saving it and all that stuff, uh, but I really hope you enjoy this video, as I said this is something new for me, so as you watch this video it's going to be a pretty long first episode, I hope you guys enjoy it, I'm going to be cutting down on the length of the episodes, but you know, first episode is always going to be a long one. I hope you guys enjoy it, leave any constructive feedback in the comments, I really want to hear people's opinions, any feedback from me, commentate and that kind of stuff, and other than that guys, I really hope you enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay guys, so I've resumed, I guess, recording here, as we've been just accepted a job at a club, which I'm going to be referring to as Justice, just because it's a really South American name, and they are the... Well, they're in the second tier of Argentinian football, and just having a look at what the club, uh, well, what the club want and what they're expecting. Um, well, there's a job here going. Um, someone is due to go to this club. Let's see who this is. Okay, it's some one-star rated player. I'm not too worried about that. But anyway, anyway, what was I saying? Yes. Yeah, so this is the club which we're going to be looking after first, which is um, Justice FC which is just what I'm going to be referring to them as, uh, in the Argentinian second division. So we're expected to finish mid-table. And I accept this job just because the other jobs were in uh, South Africa. So it just made a bit more sense to come to, I guess, Argentina first. I feel as if there's more to be accomplished here. And also, of all the offers I got, this one had the best kind of money backing. So I'm going to do these meetings afterwards, but just getting a quick introduction. Um, in order to get help you get started... Um, recommended players. Um, who is this guy? We're being recommended some guy. I'm curious. He, he looks pretty decent. Yeah, I'm just going to straight out offer him a contract. Um, what kind of wage can we offer? I'm just paranoid. There's another club interested in him. Okay, okay. Let, let me, let me, let. Let's not go buying players yet when we don't even know our squad. Um, okay, so. Looks like we've got two very good strikers, Fabio Nunes and Miller. And this guy looks good. He's only on a one-year deal. He's 26. Uh, we're probably going to want to renew his contract at some point. And we have Christian Miller, who is another pretty decent um, midfielder. Uh, also on a one-year deal. I'm gonna. I'm kind of tempted to renew these contracts already. And you want a lot of money, which I am not giving you. Not at the moment, at least. Um, so, looking at our score, two solid centre-halves. Um, please tell me this guy's on the right flank and not the left. Okay, he's on the left. Um, a pretty decent left midfielder. Defensive midfielder. Looks like we've got another strong left-back and left midfielder here. Um, yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite looking forward to this. This is a very kind of obscure kind of position to be in because I'd never I'd never pick an Argentinian second division team to manage and we've got two more left backs we, we, we've just got an abundance of left backs in this squad um, I'm going to have to compare all these at some point and I'm going to have to get rid of any dead weight um, any players which just aren't going to benefit the squad and I'm guessing that these guys might be able to sell for a bit just because they're quite young um, these guys are all very poorly rated what's their contracts like Okay, none of them have really been paid too much. This guy's already transfer listed, so clearly already trying to get rid of him. I'm just going to offer to clubs. Um, on a player like this guy, he's worth quite a bit, but I'm not expecting to get that. I just need to clear out the wages. And in fact, before I do this, I should be checking the finances. Um, financial side of football manager I always find very interesting. So we've got a decent one-year TV deal. Uh, we've got a five-year kit sponsor, which is a decent amount of money. Uh, transfer budget is very decent as well. Um, we're on target to only lose £250,000 this year. That said, 
that would still live, leave us in a minus. So I definitely want to recoup some money. But, you know, there's not too big or a worry problem here. I don't, uh, like, money worry here. Uh, just having a look at what we're being recommended. There's a lot of attacking midfielders I'm being recommended here. Uh, okay. I should probably work out some kind of system, which is kind of another, I guess, important area of Football Manager. So, uh, strikers. Let's just go back on to... A custom view and then my personal custom view which is a, I don't know I, I prefer to have my own custom view so two strikers is definitely going to be an option um, we have a centre defensive mid in Wagner and uh, this guy is he a left mid or okay yeah he's a left midfielder so might as well stick him there for now obviously I'm going to be fiddling around with these tactics between games and as I kind of work out what I can realistically acquire he is a decent centre back. He's only out for five to eight days. I was getting a bit worried then. Um, got this guy. Is he in on loan? So he's on loan. He's got a pretty big wage and he's worth quite a lot. So I'm not going to be able to buy him. But he is a decent left back as a temporary kind of fill in. This guy is the better left back in the team. I have an attacking midfielder here. I'm contemplating playing with three strikers. Just maybe a free for free. Hmm. This could be an interesting one. It just seems like we've got an abundance of strikers. I'm going to have to fiddle around with this anyway. Um, right winger. It's definitely the right side where we're weak. The right side is where we're going to be looking for players, I think. Let's just take a look at the tactics. See what's what. So we have two deep like line forwards. Um... Nunes and Miller. I'm just going to do a comparison of them both just so we can kind of see who's who's better at what. So Nunes is technically better, like as in technically, as in his technical ability, not he's technically better, like me being all smart. But Miller's a bit quicker. So I don't know. Nunes has a bit more creativity, so I'm kind of more inclined to play him as the deep lying forward, which is they both want the same role basically. And then Hmm. Well, I'm going to put Miller as a poacher for now. That'll probably change. Um, wide midfielder support. Romero is the attacker. I'm going to stick him in cam for now. Wagner likes to be on the defensive. Hmm. And then we need a right back and a right midfielder for now. I'm not. I'm. I'm not very happy having this big gap in the centre of midfield. But it's one of these things where we'll just have to make do with it. So I'm going to go and look for my right-sided players that I need. So let's see what we've got here. So there's Richelli, who's a 35-year-old wing-back right. He's technically good. He's, he's very old, which kind of leaves me a bit hesitant. But he's got a good natural fitness. How much is he wanting? 900. You see, I don't want to pay 900 in wage. For a player who I might only get one or two seasons out of. Let's put the position to right back and see who comes up. Okay, so there's these two guys. That's not great. What about wing backs? I'm not against playing a wing back right. If it means it's going to be a stronger player. Oh, it's Malinario. Who, oh, I don't know why I put on like weird French accents. He seems like a pretty decent player. Um, can I compare him to my left back? Okay, I'm probably going to buy this guy. He seems like he's going to be a pretty decent purchase. Just hoping, I'm hoping he's going to be asking for around the £600 mark. Um, okay, he wants first team football. Go with 600 Two year deal. He's a right back, so I'm going to put his goal bonus up to 350 And then knock his appearance fee down. And then I'm going to go and... Add a 1k, a 1 pound. <laughs> I was going to put on a 1k loyalty bonus, but that's not needed. Um, I wish there was a way I could input. A... Oh my gosh, I'm such a noob. Let's offer a 500 pound loyalty bonus. Uh, Free year deal. And he has accepted that. So that's a good first kind of player. Um, the thing with the goal bonus, obviously, a right back is not inclined to score that often. So I'd rather lower his wage and then give him a, goal, a hefty goal bonus. That's reasonable, and there are no right midfielders scouted. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna have to look for one of these myself, but that gives me a chance to talk about some other stuff. Just 
have a look at this guy first, however. And... No, he could be okay. What's his report saying? He won't improve in the future. He's a potential right mid, and he's asking for lowerish wages. And he'd be a leading star for our division, and compared to our other attacking right midfielders, what about any compare attacking midfielder centre? Kind of tempted to get him. He's a good attacking midfielder, so he might be a, a decent potential winger. Um, and he is asking for that. He's team of the year bonus and have to knock down. Uh, I might have to put him as a key player. I don't like putting players as a key player in case they're not going to be team players or key players because then their morale goes down if you they aren't the player that you said they were going to be in the squad. However, I'm in this instance where I kind of need to do it. Um, you're starting to get frustrated already. Settle down, okay? Um, I, bet, I suppose I'll give the guy what he wants. So we've got those two players, and then what goalkeepers we've got? We've got two goalkeepers. One is injured. He doesn't seem like that bad of a goalkeeper. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll have a look at what's available and then we can look from there. Depaul. What, what's his status? 21. A very good goalkeeper. I'm going to make an inquiry on him. I, I wouldn't mind picking up him and if I can get rid of some of these other players that are kind of sat in um, the club. Then it'll be kind of beneficial. Just have a look at our youth team. He's not a bad. He might be a half decent target man in the first team, you know. I'm going to stick him in the senior squad for now. There's no harm with putting him there. I can always put him so my assistant, assistant plays him in youth team games. And just have a look at overall squad depth. Just because we are lacking. Let's see what we are lacking. Pretty good in the left side and the centre department. I need to I need to add some depth on the right hand side. That's gonna be my main target, this transfer thing, and that's definitely what um I'm gonna be aiming for. So I'm probably gonna to need to look for some more wingers. I'm just wondering who here hasn't got a lot of ability and we can probably get rid of because two attacking midfielders, we probably don't need both of these. Um gonna compare them. Is there a way I can do comparing straight off here? No, there isn't. I have to select one and then the other. Okay. So it's Riata and Silva was his name. Oh, I by the way, I apologise for my sore throat. It's really bad, and hopefully I won't be like this forever. Um, 200k. Oh, Silva. Um, 21. Riata is. I'm gonna sell Riata. I'm gonna sell you. I'm afraid. Um, we're gonna offer him to clubs. Um, and hopefully we can get a half decent amount for him, I hope. I hope. Um, so yeah guys, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to skip to the end of the transfer thing once I've sorted out who's coming in and who's not, and then I can give you a little update, show you who we buy, and all that good stuff, so I'll talk to you guys in a sec. Okay guys, so two weeks have passed there or thereabouts and I've managed to get all my signings sorted for the preseason. So as you can see, we're looking a lot more solid as a team. Um, I guess goalkeeper is still the major issue. I knew that was going to be the problem, trying to find a goalkeeper. And unfortunately, I really couldn't find anyone uh, who suited the role before the start of the season. And I have no money left. I'll just quickly show you my finances so you can see what's going on. So... Um, my current transfer budget is around eleven thousand and uh, around twelve thousand, and I'm just ab above thirteen thousand, which obviously isn't great for the club. And financially, we're not looking great, which isn't ideal. But I feel as if there's enough players in this club that are dead wood, and I can probably sell in the next uh, transfer window and gain some decent money out of them. Um, in fact, I'll just show you quickly, so you can see, um, if I sort by value, you can see the players who are chosen, so we've got like Sanchez, who's 200,000, Silva, who's another 200,000, these are all players which um, can potentially go during the next transfer window, so money-wise, I'm not too worried, um, 
Tactically, I'll just show you how we're setting up before I go into my transfers. Uh, we're starting with this 4-5-1 uh, formation now. Uh, I was going to play with Nunes in an attacking role alongside Miller and Armuna behind and then like a 4-1-2-1-2 and very wide. However, I really don't want to leave this gap in the centre of the midfield. So what I decided to do was do Nunes already has some potential to play as... Um, an attacking midfielder, although it's not great, um, but his role attributes when I was looking at them really suited the role of playing, um, I guess, as an attacking advanced playmaker. Only really his teamwork lets him down, so I decided to put him as, I guess, an attacking midfielder, advanced playmaker to play behind Miller, and really these three are going to be linking up and being our main, I guess, penetrative penetrative attack, I can't even say that word, but yeah, that, you know, that, that's our spearhead up top, um, I really don't know how this formation is going to try out, I've never tried it myself, I think it was FM Hub who used this a while ago, a guy who I'm subscribed to, I'll probably leave his like, link in the description, but he used this formation in the, I think it was the South African second division, might be wrong there, but it seemed to work for him, and I want to give it a go, I mean, we can always switch to a more conventional Formation, as you can see, um, players can play in a lot of different positions, so we've got plenty of potential to mix and match and move stuff around as we go. But anyway, I don't want to ramble on for too long because this video is already pretty long. But if we go to our transfer centre in history, you can see what's going on. So I sold Benitez Marcelo, who is my second choice or third choice left back for 50k. Uh, not the best player in the world, I mean, he's not bad. But I felt as if the money that I got from him and then could read this back into the wage budget would benefit me more on getting these players in on free. So, just show you my free players. I got Fabani, who is um, a centre attacking mid and a right winger. He's primar primarily going to be playing right mid for me. I'm currently training him um, as a right mid. He's got very good kind of winger attributes. And he was a pretty good player. I mean, he's 29. I got him on a free. He's only on 575 a week. And he has a pretty decent value. So I was pretty happy getting him. Because I, as I touched upon earlier, I needed some right-hand sided players. Because I just didn't have any. I had one right midfielder. Not a single right back. And not a single, like, kind of right attacking player. Uh, we have Armuna who is a attacking mid. I wasn't originally going to buy a guy here, but when I decided to switch up my formation, I wanted a decent attacking midfielder. Um, and this guy really fit the bill. I mean, he's worth 325k, and he's on a pretty hefty wage, but I'm hoping him combining with the other two players of uh, Muller. I think, is it Muller? I can't even remember. I've not learned the team yet. Muller and... Is it Muller? 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 Uh, Miller. Miller. Okay. And now I've just said Miller and Muller loads. <laughs> you know, Miller and Nunes. I wanted to only could pair up with them, and he really fit the bill as that kind of player. We have Koyant, who is a centre uh, defensive player, and he can also play right back, which is pretty useful. Um, just looking at his stats, he's got decent heading, decent marking, not too bad at air tackling, and he's got some decent pace on him. I mean, he's. A very good player. I will be playing him primarily as a centre half, but he just gives that right coverage. So I've got a first choice centre back here who can also play on the right back, which was, you know, a position which I really needed to cover. We also have Solomon, who is a right back, right wing back, and left back. He's a very kind of versatile player. I'm looking forward to having this guy um, just because he gives a lot of coverage to a lot of areas. As you can see, he can play on the left or right. Um, I'm in fact going to train him just to play right mid, so I've got that other option there. There's no harm in training a new position because he's 28, so it, it just gives us a nice option here. I mean, he's not a crazily good player, but considering I got him on a free, he's not too bad at signing and his wages were pretty decent. And here is the flop of the transfer window, Moose. Um, I was looking for a goalkeeper, and I couldn't get that young keeper who I showed earlier. He just, you know, they wanted 90k for him, and that, realistically, I couldn't buy him. So I got this guy off a scout report that I got, and unfortunately for me, my scout really kind of screwed me over because he came to the club and he just wasn't the player that I'd been promised. I mean, you can see here, Pellegrino is our first choice keeper, and these two guys are very different but at the same time they probably work out about being the same kind of player um i mean these comparisons really don't give a lot away so i'm going to be looking at these i'm actually contemplating selling off pellegrino if i can because his contract ends at the end of the year so it'd be nice to get some money in on him as financially at the moment the club's not in the best position 
but he was I guess Moose was originally brought in as first choice goalkeeper and I don't think he's going to be playing there to be honest and then we have Fioretto who is another right sided player uh, can play anywhere on the right again you know I needed some coverage on the right he's not a bad player he's 31 so he's not young but you I mean his stats are pretty well rounded off you know created fast and physical and good mental attributes nothing special in defense nothing special in attack but then that just means that you can play either or to an adequate level but they were the signings i made i mean just off my assistant reports from my positions i mean you can see that the club's in a good position currently i have fermani injured but he will come back as the first choice right uh, midfielder but i'm really happy with the club so far i feel as if um it's going to be interesting because I've never been in the Argentinian second division and I really have no idea how it's going to go. I'm pretty optimistic. Um, I'm kind of curious what my media prediction is. Is it under squat club? Do I go to my club and then info? Is I can't remember where it is now. Oh, info. I think it's here. Uh, so we're media predicted 12th. Um, in the division, there are 19 teams. So you play 38 games, and there's also a Christmas break, so we don't finish until around June time, which could be interesting. But, I mean, I'm really excited by this. Uh, I'm going to cut this video off here, but I can't wait, you know, to show you, I guess, this. And we'll really see how we get on here. I'm really excited and kind of optimistic about this. And it's going to be a fun adventure. So this is the end of the first episode of the Pentagon Challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been me, Jack, and I'm out, guys. I'll talk to you in a bit.